It's Juvenis. Very distinguished, performing, vibrant, and ready to go governors of the various states that are here. My colleagues, former governors from class 1999, 2007. Why are you laughing? 2015 and 2023, our successors. Distinguished senators, right honorable members of the House of uh, Reps, very distinguished guests, the man that has brought us here, the immediate past governor of River State, a man who has broken many glass ceilings. We have run out of words. Descriptive, adjectival descriptions of this man. We don't know what to call him anymore. In 2015, he was called Mr. Dynamic, Positive Dynamo, Hurricane, and on and on and on. Today, he stands out in Nigeria as the most common household name. <laughs> Mention the name Wike anywhere. Heads will turn. The temperature will change. The atmosphere will be altered. Look at the rainbow nature of this gathering and you will appreciate the point being made. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here for one simple reason. Because a man who has appreciated God has found the need to call all of us together to join him and his family to thank Almighty God. Why is he thanking God? Because for eight years, Almighty God gave him the opportunity to serve Rivers State. And he grabbed that opportunity with two hands, pleaded with God to show him the way. Almighty God responded. Today, the immediate past governor of River State, Chief Barrister Nyesom Ezenwan Wike, stands in the history of Nigeria, in the history of democratic governance, as the best governor that Nigeria has produced so far. The MC in his introduction of the chairman of the occasion, said Dr. Peter Dili was the golden governor of Nigeria. I can say that if he has a justifiable reason for saying so, Dr. Peter Dili is gladly handing over that title to Nyesom Wike. <laughs> and I'm not doing it lightly and doing it with every sense of responsibility. Name the sector health where I belong, education, judiciary and the legal system, infrastructure, 
Poverty reduction strategies. Name it. Yes, on Wiki excelled and stands as the best performer so far in all these sectors. I know that the governor of Lagos State, who is representing our president, but because he is here not in his capacity as the governor of Lagos, he should not frown when we say Wike has outclassed all his classmates in governance. As for the Senate president, I know, I know his problem is from home. <laughs> but home matters are usually settled at home. For now, the man who has brought us here deserves all that we can give him. And I must thank all of you who have come his immediate political family of G5, the integrity group. But go beyond that, and you see a rainbow arrangement that has never happened in Nigeria before. One thing that Governor Wike has left for all of us, those of us who have retired, and those who are warming up to join the track, he has woken the attention of Nigerians to the need to respect one another. He has also demonstrated by action that the nation is a chain of peoples and groups. He has shown that no chain is stronger than the weakest link in the chain. The strength of the chain I must pause because you had the chief celebrant say in the church that the wife is his boss at home. And we are now at home. She has just stepped in with her successor. So why wouldn't I pause? If she decides that what we've gathered here to do, I tell me whatever you call it from wherever you come, that's the end of it. So first lady and your immediate past predecessor. Welcome. We are just about to start. So the other message that Governor Wike in his days has registered is that we need each other to keep Nigeria united. And I want, I want to congratulate in a very special way the members of the other party that worked with them to produce what I'm praying will be the best, or at least one of the best two presidents that Nigeria will have so far. <laughs> Our president was a member of class 99. My other brother James is here. We have no doubt that the president that all of you have collectively voted for and who's in charge today as the commander-in-chief, Bola Tinubu, is going to change the narratives in Nigeria. So, Mr. President of the Senate, when you get back to Abuja, as you begin the task of governance, recognize and put into action the fact that no country has two governments, 
there is only one federal government with three arms. Those three arms must work together for Nigeria to move forward. So I want to use this opportunity to appeal to you and your colleagues to work with the president so that the dividends he has in mind can be delivered. A good dance begins with the first step. His first steps are very correct steps. And the dance has started. We pray that Almighty God will sustain your efforts, your collective efforts, to take Nigeria to where Nigeria should have been years ago. But God's time is always the best. Our chief host, on his behalf, we have come to the home of our immediate past governor, the indomitable, the irrepressible, the courageous, the bold, the lion of the Niger Delta, who it pleased God to give the opportunity to serve seamlessly for eight years. Your Excellency, a gift from Rume Pricom, from Obiapo, from River State to Nigeria. He took us to the church, and in Christendom, the highest gift and thanks is service of God in the church. That we have done. Now we are in the home of Chief Barrister Yeson Wike and our former First Lady. So my business is to invite you all to relax. Make merry. Jollificate. Do whatever you want to do. Enjoy yourselves. And let us unveil the uh, delectable cuisine of our former First Lady and uh, deal with whatever you find in the bar of the live venture. It is on that note that I want to thank you for honoring their invitation and for bringing all the shades and colors of Nigeria under one roof. Your Excellency, may God bless you for all you've done for our people. We are proud of you and will continue to pray for your continued success. I thank you all for your attention. Oh, we're done already. I'm sure you liked it. Please leave your comments, like, and share this video. More importantly, more importantly, please click on the thanks button so that you can support Jovenis TV to enable us to create more content like you. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. It's just, it's unique, it's versatile, it envisions, it's newsy, it inspires, it suits, it's Juvenis. A dual glossy magazine with educative and entertaining columns that report contemporary issues, events, tells about individuals who can inspire positively, showcases latest trends in fashion, circulates all around Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, London, and USA. Juvenis is published bi monthly by Peanuts Communications Limited. For inquiries, event coverage or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271, 0805-787-1199. Juvenis Magazine, inspiring the young at heart.